and welcome into week two of Finley High School Music, The Hanson Years. I'm WFIN Program Director Bill Rice, and with us once again, Barbara Hart Pagano, Finley High School band member and graduate under Dr. Clifford Height. And Barb, welcome. Well, hi, Bill. Thanks again. And uh, Dave, we're back to do it again. We had some terrific music last week, and I'm and looking at this menu today, We've got some more terrific music. We went over some of your bio and things last week. How did you get into the Finley City School System? Luck. And I've been eternally grateful because I love this city. Just plain luck. I ended up student teaching here in Finley. And uh, Cliff Height Sr., who um, we did that wonderful pro series on, the, the Height Legacy, um, he uh, liked what I did and hired me to teach. And... Uh, that's, that was the beginning of, uh, of a fantastic experience. Well, we certainly had a fantastic week last week, and I'm sure it's going to be just as fantastic this week. Dave, what have you got for us this week? Well, we're going to begin with a piece called Concerto Grosso in D minor, written by the composed by the Venetian composer Antonio Vivaldi, who lived from 1669 to 1740. He wrote over 400 concertos, and this particular performance took place at a spring concert in 1980.
next selection is called Ballet Music from the Opera Les Cid, written by French composer Jules Massenet in 1885. The Cid, which means the conqueror, is one of Spain's national heroes. We are going to hear two of several dances from the ballet, which has a definite Spanish flavor and features the woodwinds of the orchestra. Comedian's Gallop was written by the Russian composer Dmitry Kabalevsky in 1940. This is the second movement of a ten-movement suite for orchestra called The Comedians. This performance took place in 1980 at a Pops concert.
The Prelude, Opus 34, Number 14, was written by Russian composer Dmitry Shostakovich, who lived from 1906 to 1975. This piece is a very dark and moody work with great dynamic contrast. The satirical dance, also written by Dmitry Shostakovich, comes from a larger three-act ballet called The Bolt. This was written in 1931 and is very, very different from the piece that you just heard, The Prelude. The satirical dance ridicules with humor the Philistines. In this case, we're talking about people who are hostile to the arts. Thank you. 
The William Tell Overture comes from the opera by the same name, written by the famous Italian opera composer Giocino Rossini. William Tell was the father of Swiss democracy in 14th century Switzerland, and he was the one who had to shoot an apple off the top of his son's head with a bow and arrow. Later on in the 20th century, there was a famous radio program and later a television program called The Lone Ranger, and the theme music for these programs utilized the William Tell Overture. And welcome back to Findlay High School Music, The Hanson Years on 1330 WFIN. I'm Bill Rice. Once again, here's Barbara Hart Pagano. Well, Bill, this is just an incredible series, as we knew it would be. And Dave, um, what, what's up next? The next selection that the Findlay High School Orchestra will be performing is titled Jubilee by American composer Ron Nelson. What is really important about this particular performance is that it took place at the 33rd Annual Midwest National Band and Orchestra Clinic in Chicago, Illinois on December 12, 1979. This is a very, very difficult work, but a very exciting work to perform, and there is a fugue in the middle of it that features many of the instruments of the orchestra. Following this piece, Bill Rice will be having a chat with Tom Carey, who taught with me for a number of years, and Tom was with me and the Finley High School Orchestra in Chicago in December of 1979 for three days. And now let's listen to Jubilee by Ron Nelson performed by the Finley High School Symphony Orchestra. Thank you. 
That was Jubilee, and now here's Bill Rice with our special guest, Tom Carey. Thank you, Barb. Tom Carey is our guest today. He presently teaches fifth grade at Van Buren Elementary School, also teaches part-time at the University of Finley, plays violin in various orchestras and small ensembles. He taught strings with Dave Hansen in the Finley City Schools from 1976 to 1985. Tom, we just heard the song Jubilee, which was played in Chicago back in 1979 at the 33rd Annual Midwest Band and Orchestra Clinic. I know you were there with Dave and the orchestra, what memories do you have of that? I remember what a great experience it was for all the kids and for all the chaperones. It was a huge trip. It took many, many months of preparation. I can't begin to tell you the work that Dave Hansen did for this trip. Uh, Huge amounts of preparation of looking at music. Uh, There were great restrictions on what music you could play at this festival. And to put a program together, I know, was very difficult to get approved. And it was just a great experience for the orchestra. And I know that all the kids remember it really well. Tom, what was it like spending uh, nearly a decade teaching in a large public school orchestra program like Findlay had at the time? It was a lot of work. I remember traveling from building to building probably six, seven, eight times a day to teach classes. Uh, We taught string classes all over in buildings. Great experience. I loved the people that I worked with. Dave Hansen was kind of a mentor to me, and I just appreciated all his hard work for the Finley City Schools. I loved the experience, had a great time doing it. I learned a lot, had great fun with the kids. I still have people that I run into that were in the orchestras that I directed and directed with Dave. We all have memories. Tom, we appreciate you taking time and uh, being a part of the series spotlighting Dave Hansen and his years with the Finley High School Orchestra. And thank you, Bill. It was my pleasure to do it. Thanks, Tom. Barb, back to you. Thanks, Bill. Dave, uh, what's next here? Well, we are going to feature two compositions written by American composer Leroy Anderson. He lived from 1909 to 1975 and wrote many novelty orchestra pieces for Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops. The first selection is titled Blue Tangle, and the second selection is called The Typewriter, and this will be featuring a student percussion soloist playing or performing on an old manual typewriter. Thank you. 
Great couple of selections by Leroy Anderson, Dave, the typewriter and Blue Tango. And we would be remiss. Of course, we've been paid, actually, to say that Barb Pagano was, was the, the typewriter. typewriter back in the day. Way back in the day. Well, golly, I wonder what that looked like. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is the uh, Halloween season, after all. Excuse how do you, how do you... <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm sure you were great. Dave, what's up next? Okay, the next piece... Actually, it's always been one of my favorites to do with the high school orchestra. I think over the years we might have done it five times. It's called Pop's Hoedown, composed and arranged by American composer Richard Heyman, who also, along with Leroy Anderson, composed and arranged music for Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops. This piece is a medley of popular country fiddle and dance tunes and features literally every section of the orchestra. It is a lot of fun to play, and I, I want to tell you, this is not an easy piece. I mean, this was written for for Fiddler's Boston Pops, but this is one performance I've always loved. This was from a 1980 Pops concert.
The next piece of music is titled Love's Theme and was written by composer Barry White, who is considered the undisputed maestro of sensual soul music of the mid-1970s. Love's Theme made it to the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1974 and also was used as the theme music for the Professional Golf Association Tour. from SWAT was written by composer Barry Dvorzon. S-W-A-T stands for Special Weapons and Tactics. SWAT was a television program from the early 1970s about a group of special police called a SWAT team in Los Angeles. This music actually came from a stage band arrangement which I adapted for the orchestra.
and another incredible hour of music on Finley High School Music, The Hanson Years, wrapping things up with the theme from SWAT, which I guess Barb could stand for Sensational Week, Astounding Tunes. Oh, you are so good, Bill. That wraps up week number two. Again, a tremendous thanks, Barb, to... Mr. Dave Hansen, who is presenting us with some unbelievable music. And remember, guys, these are high school kids. Well, Dave, we're looking forward to next week's music, and I'm sure it's going to be just as great as the last two have been. So uh, thanks again, Dave, and we'll see you all next week. Well, thank you. And again, I wanted to express my appreciation for having this opportunity. And I appreciate what Barb said about the fact that these are students, and we can't expect a perfect professional performance every time. But sometimes we actually do receive that from high school students. So what a wonderful thing. Thanks, Dave. And again, our thanks to Tom Carey, who visited with us earlier in the hour. Uh, Don't forget, the audio for this week's series will be posted on our website at WFIN.com. You'll be able to uh, hear that in the next couple of days, plus last week's show, in case you missed it, and uh, future weeks as well. Also, any comments you have on the series, we'd love to hear from you. Just uh, go to the guest book on the uh, page where the series is located. We'll see you next week for week three of Finley High School Music, The Hanson Years, on 1330 WFIN.